Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild with Lady Legend. In today's video, we're heading out to Savannah to hunt for lions. And at the end, please stick around because we're going to check out three of my very favorite hotspots for rest zones here in Savannah. But before we get into the video, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button, ring that notify bell, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. And thank you so much for joining us today. Let's get to it. Okay, so we are out here in Savannah and we are hunting lions in their drink zone. Now lions drink from 12 noon till 3 or 3.30 and they can be a lot of fun to hunt. I will be sharing with you a map with all of my favorite lion spots for you as well as a map with my favorite rest slash feed zones for all different species at the end of the video. And I want to let you guys know about this awesome new YouTuber. His name is Kill Clinton and his content is amazing. You have to check out this video, Diamond Cape Buffalo and Legendary Jackal. Link is below. Absolutely go check him out. All right, back to our lion hunting. And we have a gold level seven lion. He has a trophy of 45.3. Pretty nice double lung shot from over 300 meters, not too bad. Now, I would love to find some different rare variations for lions and they can be pretty tough to come by. I think the best way to get a rare lion is to farm them on your own map. Just keep killing those big lions and eventually, hopefully, you'll get a respawn. And man, I would love a nice big male albino lion. <laughs> that would be amazing. But yeah, lions come in common, they come in blonde, dark, and albino. And another thing that I like about lion hunting is that lions and jackals drink at the same time. Lions drink from noon till 3 or 3.30 and jackals drink from 11 till 3 or 3.30. So you can uh, get a two for one deal there and maybe find yourself a nice big diamond or rare jackal at the same time that you're hunting for lions. And you might just run into a warthog or two. That's a pretty nice level four. So we're gonna take a shot on that guy. And I'm using the M1 today. <laughs> using the M1 a lot of days. Do love this gun. Looks good. Definitely looks good. And that's a gold. He has a trophy of 41.7 and he's a gray he's a pretty decent size and there we go we have a nice level seven pretty decent that should definitely be a gold if we get a vital and i like to hunt lions with the 300 the 338 works just as well except for it's a single shooter so it just doesn't allow for as fast of a follow-up shot you can hunt lions with the seven mil and you will get integrity but the 30 odd six is no good for lion hunting. And that guy is having a bad, bad day. <laughs> and that's a gold, 45.1. Definitely with lions, you can't get too close to them because if they even touch you once, you are dead. Not like a buffalo, there's no second chances with the lions. And this could be a nice little spot here. Here we have one hiding. They like to walk along the, uh, the cliff edge there during their drink time. So it's always a good spot to check. Level six can be a silver or a gold. And I find with lions, even if you mess up your first shot, they don't tend to go too far. It usually isn't too hard to get a second shot on them. This guy's just uh, having a little walk. Doesn't seem to know we're around. So we might just go for a heart shot on him. Yeah, definitely. So when you're aiming for a heart shot and you're off to an angle like I was there, you wanna aim a little bit to the left or whichever side that you have the angle of. And that will allow you a nice clear heart shot and if you've never done it before, start practicing. It's honestly not that hard to do. 
And it is very handy to be able to take an animal down in the heart because that can be the only option that you have sometimes. This is a nice little lake, always lions on this lake. Usually jackals as well. And then if you run past the lake and continue forward, there is another lake. And sometimes it has lions as well. And this guy is only gonna present us with a heart shot. Or if I miss, there's a good chance I'll get a lot. But that looks good. And the nice thing about a heart shot is there is no tracking required. And that's a level seven gold, 46.6. Nice heart shot. All right. Another level six. And he is fleeing from me. I spooked him out. But we have a nice big wide open field, so shouldn't be too hard to hopefully get a vital on this guy. I always like to mark where they are so I have my zeroing set correctly. And yeah, he wants to go back to his zone, so he's stopping and turning around which is going to give us a nice opportunity to shoot him right in the heart. Did I get him? Yeah. Looks good. And he's a gold. 45 on the nose. Level 6 lion. With another nice heart shot. And we're getting a nice little collection of gold lions today. All right. And we have a lioness. From what I can see, lionesses go from level one to level four. And male lions, do they come at level three? I'm not sure. I've seen level four and up. A level four male lion's a pretty small lion. And here is a map that I've put together outlining all of my favorite lion drinking spots. The red stars are my favorite spots. Those are spots where I've seen diamonds shot at multiple times. But the lakes in the center of the map are all great for lion hunting. You just got to be there between noon and 3 or 3.30. And they're often not there right at noon. It can take them some time to get into their zones. I will post that map to my Discord. And the link for my Discord is below the video. And I'm gonna bring you out to some of my favorite rest zones. And this spot is amazing. You can find out here in the morning. This is uh, after 10 a.m. Lots of Gemsbach feeding. They also like to come out here to rest. You're also gonna find wildebeest resting, springbok resting, awesome, awesome spot. But we're gonna take this nice big level four Gemsbach down. And we're gonna use the 300. They're pretty hardy animals. But not that guy. <laughs> Must have got vertebrae. Yeah, thoracic spinal cord and left lung. Still a good shot. That's a gold. And has a trophy of 294. And that's a gray. And this is that spot there. You spawn in at the outpost. And what I do is I run right up to that lookout tower and just spot away. And here we have one of my favorite buffalo spots. But if you run in this direction, I would say in the early afternoon, after 12, because buffalo drink till 12, you're going to find them out here. They are feeding, but they also rest out here. And you can actually spot this rest zone right from the outpost. I'll show it to you on the map. And we took a shot on that level 7 buffalo. It's looking good. He is going to die for sure. It's always nice to know these little off time spots that you can check for animals resting or feeding. Because I have seen a legendary oh. buffalo in there not that long ago. So, But always be prepared to be attacked when you're hunting for buffalo because they love to try and kill me. I like to pop my scope off. I press up on the directional tab twice and press A. That pops it off real fast. And I have two chances to get a vital without it lowering my metal rating. And looks like we did get a vital on this guy. And then you just press up 
twice on the directional pad and press A again, and that puts your scope right back on. Easy peasy. And that's a uh, level five silver, 104.7. And this is where we found him. So you spawn in at the outpost, there is that buffalo feed zone, but if you continue out there, you're gonna find Springbok, Wildebeest, awesome spot. And this is one of my very favorite spots. If you go out to this spot, mm, around noon, anytime after 10, because Gemsbok feed from 10 till two, you're gonna find, that's a pretty nice one, you're gonna find at least two herds of Gemsbok. Often you're gonna find Wildebeest, and this was last night on a multiplayer, and I found this level five. Now, unfortunately, this is not a happy ending. I crashed. <laughs> I crashed, so I did not get this guy, but it does show how awesome this spot is. I uh, started to get ready to get him, and then it was lights out for me. Oh, well, that is... These are the risks we take when we play multiplayer. So here's the spot. I spawn in at that outpost, and I run across, and there's going to be just so many animals out here. And that just about wraps up our video for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Please make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. You take care.